Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What do you use to edit your photos? Everybody's probably going to have a different response. They're, of course, going to be uh, similar titles or the same titles coming up over and over again. But this is a question that was asked by one of our community members, Clay. Clay started posting video responses and videos to his YouTube account. And he's also posted through my video voicemail uh, service at live.perillo.com as powered by iJot. And because he kept asking questions, this was one of them, I, I, I thought, well, you know, I appreciate you guys asking questions. And so I thought instead of just me answering the question, we'll play back his video as how he asked the question. Um, and it's a question that is everybody has on their minds, it seems. Hey, Chris. Uh, I know you do a little digital photography. Um, I, just, I know it's off topic and all, but I was wondering if you could recommend what you think would be the best photo editing software out there. You know, Photoshop or Elements, or what would you recommend? Clay, thanks again for asking as many questions as you do, and hopefully I can answer most, if not all of them. If I can't, the chat room should be able to. Nothing is ever off topic. No question is off topic. Uh, the only stupid question is, is the question not asked. And this, by no means, was a stupid question. It's very, very smart. Uh, you're asking what I use. Um, I've been using Paint Shop Pro, which is now owned by Corel. Um, you should be able to download a demo to try it out. Very, very powerful. Uh, and in my opinion, pretty easy to use. I've always found it easier to use than Photoshop, which to me seems like overkill for a lot of people. Um, it's very, very advanced, very powerful, but it's, it can be unwieldy at times. Now, Adobe saw that, and you mentioned the name Elements. Um, Adobe has Photoshop, and they also have Elements, which you can think of as a watered-down version of Photoshop. Um, I've used that in the past as well, but still, it's, it's, it is overkill. Um, you could try Paint.net, which is available from getpaint.net, and uh, that's the website, not .com, .net. Um, it's a very strong, uh, or I guess a powerful image editor, specifically geared towards photo editing. Uh, there's GIMP, which is open source, and uh, as, 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 as one of our chat room users just said, uh, that also runs on a, on a multitude of platforms, Windows, Mac, OS X, or Windows OS X Linux. Ooh, um, it's a little late. I'm getting a little punchy here. Um, there's also Photo Filter. Uh, filter spelled R-E, and I've used that, and I really like that. It's very, very fast. It's very, very effective in terms of doing quick edits and image creation. Um, there is uh, MS Paint. Oh, God. Yeah, Microsoft Paint that comes with Windows. I wouldn't recommend that at all, especially for photo editing. Um, what I started doing with Ponzi after I showed her Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, um, I showed her Paint Shop Pro, all these tools that I liked and that I used. Ultimately, I got her going on Picasa. And I believe I've mentioned Picasa before in this video, or not this particular one, but in recording videos, I'm sure I've mentioned it before. It used to be shareware, and now it's owned by Google and is available for free. Not only does it help you organize your photos and save them out as screensavers, burn them to a CD, share them with friends, but it has uh, basic photo editing features as well. And it, the, the photo editing features inside of Acasa are probably some of the more powerful and easier to use photo editing tools I've ever seen or used. Honestly, I think it beats iPhoto in terms of ease of use. Now, Picasa at this point is only available for Windows. I think they've got a beta available for Linux. Um, it, I don't think it's available for OS X at this point in time, but I'm sure with Google it's just a matter of time before Picasa gets ported to OS X, and most people, I bet, will switch from iPhoto to Picasa, at least on OS X. It's, it's a better application. It's a simple application, and it is pretty powerful for what most people want to do with their photos. Change contrast, colors, uh, remove red eye, uh, and it's absolutely free. Now those are my recommendations and, and some of the chat room's recommendations for what you can sh tr try. What I have on this system, I've got like three or four different photo editors and you know, I'll try them all to see which one is going to give me the best image of what I think that image should look like. So, you know, don't feel like you have to stick with just one image editor or one photo editor, try a few. And you out there, you watching the video right now, if, if we haven't mentioned something that you happen to use, 
don't just say what you use, or don't tell us what you use, tell us why you use it. I mean, give us a good reason other than I like it, or it's the most expensive, or it's free. Give us good reasons. You know, I'm always looking for good solutions. And, you know, Clay, don't feel like anything is ever off topic. Please keep a answering or keep asking those questions. Or if you do know answers to questions, feel free. Throw in your answer anytime.